Brothers and sisters in Christ, I stand before you today with a humble heart and a deep sense of gratitude. We gather here not only as a community of faith, but as a family united by our love for the Lord. I am Tom Aubrey, my wife is Julie, and we have two daughters, Ashlyn and Laura. Ashlyn has joined me today to talk about the impact this church has made in our lives. We have been members since our children were little, and this church has helped answer our prayers in raising them to know Jesus. This church community has created an environment for them to learn and grow and love Christ. We are so thankful we have received so many blessings. I'd like to have Ashlyn share her experience in knowing and loving Christ more deeply through this church. Good morning. As my dad just said, my name is Ashlyn Aubrey, and I have been a member of FUMC as long as I can remember. I have been baptized and confirmed here and been put on a path to grow in my faith. When I was asked to write about how this church has impacted my life, I struggled with fitting 16 years of my favorite place into a two-minute speech, but hopefully this sums it up. I have always referred to this place as my second home, and truly, it is. I come here any chance I get, if that is to unload pumpkins in the pouring rain, wake up bright and early to sing on Sunday mornings, or work at Spark with the elementary school kids. I've always strived to make a difference in the younger kids' life as the older kids did for me. Growing up during Spark, I started in the Cherub Choir at the age of three and fell in love with singing and being involved in the youth ministries. The impact that choirs had on my life is astronomical. It has given me countless opportunities, like singing and praising God at choir camp every summer, traveling overseas with the Igthus Choir to England to share God's message, and having fun Sunday nights spent here at the church for choir, youth group, and our new youth women's handbells. As some of you may know, being a teenage girl is not always easy. It is loads of schoolwork and drama. But when I am in these walls, everything outside is lifted off my shoulders and I can just be. When I walk into Sunday school every Sunday morning and listen to Reverend Boyu preach, somehow he always has a solution to all my problems. <sighs> I walk out of service feeling a sense of hope and grace for the week to come. Recently, my connection with God has gotten stronger and stronger. I have felt his loving grace upon me with all he has provided with myself and for my family. Through moving houses, transitioning into new schools, and having troubles with friends, this church has always been a constant in my life. I am truly blessed to have grown up in a church with such amazing and loving supporters who have made me the proud Christian I am today. I thank God for providing me with this amazing second home. Thank you. To our staff and our congregation, we are so thankful for the work that you are doing in our children's lives. Shaping their hearts to love Jesus is the most important mission in our world today. It makes an impact that will be eternal. But none of this exists without the grace of God and the Holy Spirit working in our members' hearts to give a portion of their blessings so that knowing and growing in Christ not only is a part of our lives, but for generations to come. For years before I fully knew Christ, I would sit and think that this message is about money. As Christ took over my heart, I now know God doesn't need our money. He needs our hearts. The Bible tells us in the second Corinthians chapter nine, verse seven, each one must give as they have decided in their heart, not reluctantly under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. These words are a reminder of the profound impact our willingness to give can have on the lives of others in this church. We have been blessed in countless ways, and now it is our time to respond to his grace with open hearts and open hands. This campaign is not just about financial contributions, it's about investing in the mission of our church, the well-being of our community, and the spiritual growth of our members. Our church has dreams and ambitions to expand our outreach programs, to support missions, work, and enhance our worship experience and creating a welcoming environment for all. To achieve these dreams, we need your generosity. Your contributions, whether big or small, are instrumental in making these dreams a reality. As a member of our church finance committee, I am reminded often the capital it takes to support our mission. The upkeep of the facility, the family and children's ministry that positively impacts so many in our church and community, 
not to mention taking care of our dedicated staff that receives a majority of their compensation from knowing the impact they make in God's world, not from the wages they earn. It would be easy to conclude that we have abundant resources, and compared to others, we certainly can be thankful. But there is more of God's work to be done. The brutal facts suggest we have operated in a deficit since COVID. COVID disrupted our community like nothing we've seen, and we must be conscious of what it has done to our membership and giving campaigns. Last year, through God's blessings, we received some significant donations to stay on track. However, this year, the shortfall exists, and without a meaningful change, we will be forced to make difficult decisions to cut resources that support our growth in Christ. This is reality we face, and the importance of this generosity campaign this year. I encourage you to prayerfully consider your involvement in this campaign. Your sacrifices today will bear fruit to generations to come. Together, we can accomplish great things for the glory of God and the advancement of his kingdom. After all, it's not about what portion of my money do I give. It's about what portions of God's money do I keep. Thank you for your commitment, your faith, and unwavering support. May the Lord bless you abundantly as you give with a cheerful heart.